When did you get the music bug? Well, I, I've always had it. I just was never good, and I still ain't. But <laughs> it's a hobby. <laughs> it's a hobby. Uh, but Darius Rucker told me in '94, you know, I said, "Look, we're sending you guitars, and all these people send you guitars. You're sending us golf clubs. You're doing this. You need to get a guitar and learn how to play a little bit." So I'll never forget we were in uh, doing a Ted Grassy, the old Ted Grassy up in uh, New York. Larry said, hey, let's go find a piece of somewhat of a guitar and, and you need to learn how to play. I'll teach you how to play. And Larry helped me a lot. And uh, we go in the store and I buy a, you know, I think it was 19 out of 21 Strat Fender. That's when I bought it for nine grand or something. You know? <laughs> and uh, so I learned on that. And uh, I can't remember who I signed that to. I might have signed that to. I signed it to uh, somebody that just loved it. I bought the, then I got two more combos of it. But, you know, I got, that's been in my house. I got, I don't know, 70, 65, 70 guitars that people have given me. And, uh, I've never really been able to sit down and just really get into it, but I know enough chords to write. And, uh, but uh, so Darius Rucker and then Larry Rank were probably the two guys who really got me into it to start, you know, learning how to play some chords. Right. And then all of a sudden you start to play a little bit in front of me. You played golf your whole life in front of people, but sure picking up a musical instrument and whether it's playing in front of five or 500 to a little, was a little bit different deal. When the golf ball in front of 20, 50, 60,000 people is nothing for me. Right. When you're playing in front of 50, 25, 50,000 people, there's hooting the blowfish trying to play, you know, songs that I really don't know. But, <laughs> um, and playing some rhythm and then, you know, uh, knock on heaven's door is then my kind of signature song. I kind of wrote the third verse to it. And, uh, Love it. Bob Dylan sent me a guitar and some lyrics with a picture. How'd that happen? I did. A uh, buddy of mine, Tony, out of uh, California, knew some of his people, and and uh, Bob listened to it. He said, that's pretty cool, because he's a golfer. And uh, he says, I wish I had come up with that one. But he says he never played the tour, so it kind of relates back to the PJ tour. Yeah. That's, that's uh, super cool. And you may play tonight at Two Brothers. I might. I know two songs. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Two great songs at that. <laughs> uh, visiting with John Daly and Major Ed on the Out of Bounds podcast, hanging out here. Is, we're here for the Grip It, Rip It, and Sip It Two Brothers Smoke Meat Charity Golf Tournament for Folds of Honor. And JD's going to play with uh, four people who bid on it um, in the front nine, and donations go into Folds of Honor. And then four more people on the back nine. And again, all proceeds uh, today and tonight go to go to Folds of Honor, which is which is super cool. We we our charity event last year, we uh, Folds of Honor was our charity of choice. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. We did a real a cool cornhole tournament, sold it out, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So we raised raised a little money for Folds of Honor last year. Um, all right, so so the. You, you, you always had the music bug, but you start playing in 94. You hook up with Hootie and the Blowfish and meet all these musicians and find out probably how many of them play golf. Does, does Derek Strucker? Oh, yeah. Play? Okay. The whole week, me and my old caddy, Wedge, took him out to, uh, see, what's that course called? It, just, it had just opened down in Hickory, Mississippi. Um, oh, Fallen Oak? Fallen Oak is beautiful. Yeah, not Fallen Oak, not, oh. not what we play the senior event. Uh, it's about 25 miles out of. Uh, Memphis. Okay. It was brand new, but we ended up, I take, we ended up taught Darius and Mark and Dean and Sony how to play golf, basically. We played like 45 holes, and we were exhausted. But Mark and, Mark and uh, Darius really took the bug to it. Dean likes it, but okay. he, and Sony, he just doesn't give up. But, uh, <laughs> but they, we had a blast. We had an, they were playing the Garden in Memphis, so okay. we went out and hung out with them that night. But, uh, yeah, that's how they were. That's we taught them how to and West talking how to play golf. Basically. And you play some golf with Azar? Oh, I golf with Steve, yeah. And that guy loves it. Oh, yeah. Not a bad stick either. No. Yeah. Darius is, I think Darius is, might be a single digit handicap now. Damn. Yeah, Mark, he's right around 13, 12 or 13. Yeah. But, uh, Azar's probably right in there. I think Azar's, I think, yeah, he's probably, he's a single digit. I think. Yeah. yeah. His, uh, his Delta Soul event is incredible. That he has every year, bringing in people and so. Your son has played in the junior tournament, I think, in Greenville, Mississippi, 
at one point, didn't he? He might have. I don't Azar's know. Azar's been kind of a catalyst for that. Yeah, I don't know if Little John's played that. Or he's, he's been playing a bunch of AJGA events and he has a bunch of school tournaments he plays in. But no, I mean, if he's got uh, really two more years, he could play some more amateur golf, and, and uh, well, for a long time, but uh, junior golf-wise, he's got a couple more years. So he'll be going in to 11th grade? Senior. Senior, yeah. He turned 17 July 23rd. Okay. <coughs> I saw him out here putting it around a little bit. Oh, he's yeah. getting ready. Yeah, we don't want, I don't want Major Ed getting hurt today, so Major Ed brought in a ringer. Yeah, <laughs> he's actually been playing good. Like last week, we called him, and John, uh, you know, he, where was he at? He was somewhere up was in Indiana. Indiana, and he, he, what he was at, what, in the leaderboard. Yeah, he had six three putts on the last day and finished second. And yeah, pretty wow. much every wow. was a peak guy. He played a crooked stick round on the PGA. And yeah. it seems like now that's cool. Yeah, it seemed like every kid had a college back with him. You know, so and the way Pete and his wife did it, he was thirty three. 33, 33 boys, 33 girls, because that's how many cars in the Indy 500. Okay. So that's how they did it. Yeah. He played, played really good. He didn't play too good last time. So has he decided on the school? He got a lot of offers. You know, he's got three or four he really wants to go to. Um, but uh, Arkansas is his top right now. Big suit, great. That would be incredible. Is that because you Jerry Jones, you're a Cowboys fan, right? Oh yeah, but no, I'm, I'm a diehard Hog fan. But I, look, I told him, I, wherever you want to go, son, wherever you get the best deal, the best scholarship, you go. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not forcing him on anything, but he, he grew up loving the Hogs, so that's I know that's his first priority. But, uh, what are what are two or three others that he really likes? He's been looking at North Carolina, West Virginia, um, Florida State. Nice. Can't go wrong with any. No. Well, West Virginia has an interesting story because of. Uh, and I'm going to be in Nemecala next yeah. week, actually. Joe and Maggie are sponsored by 84 number. Yes. Came from there. Old school, oh, man. Oh, yeah. We always go up there for 4th of July. I'm still really, really great friends with them. And, uh, yeah, they sponsored me for almost 10 years. And when Obama screwed up the economy, they were losing a few stores here and there. Gotcha. They just kind of got rid of all the sponsors. Mm. Great company. Oh, they're awesome. Yeah. Maggie runs it pretty much, but. Dad's 97, still going strong. He likes to collect that money, baby. <laughs> Got it, too. <laughs> Loves it. Can't and it's the only place. We were talking about it last week. And John will tell you, tell John about the, uh, well, what, what it kind of, they've got like a, a zoo up there. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, well, it's a place, they got everything. You know, in the wintertime, they got skiing, they got all sorts of stuff, ski, shoot, four wheel drive. They got a zoo there, lions, tigers, uh, bears and stuff. Yeah. And uh, on the fifth hole, he, I came back, one, he wanted me to come out and look at the fifth hole. It was always when it rained, it would just bubble up. You couldn't get it to drain. I said, Dad, just carve that fairway down a little bit, put a creek in there, put a little lake left to the green up there. And come back three weeks later, $2.8 million. It was a huge waterfall. <laughs> and I also said, you know, an 84 number thing would look pretty on that hill right there. And I said, you know, why don't you just throw a couple of lions caged up there? It'd be cool for people, you know, with, you know, with your green fee players to come up there and look at that. Come back, it's all there. I mean, and then he put a big bronze statue of me in the middle of it. <laughs> Did you really? And that's how the zoo got started. That's so awesome. They were that's taking awesome. on some. Uh, that sounds like John Daly story. That's a some pretty bad yeah. lions, you know, at yeah. first that they would come, you know, they'd get them and they'd take care of them and raise them. And now there's uh, one, two, three. There's a baby lion, a uh, mom and a pop, and then there's an African lion that's two African lions that are huge. And they got a white buffalo up there that is so big, it's unbelievable. But it's it's just amazing. It's an amazing place. That's cool. Hanging out at Mossy Oak Golf Club in West Point, Mississippi with J.D., John Daly, and Major Ed. Talking life and uh, folds of honor and all sorts of things. J.D.'s about to play uh, with four guys on the front nine and then four guys on the back nine. And then we're going to have a VIP party tonight at Two Brothers Smoke Meet and raise some um, good money for folds of honor. We were... We had this conversation a couple of weeks on the show. Um, our show is SEC football driven. And we were talking about one of my favorite players, Darren McFadden. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I still think, JD, he's one of the most underrated college football players ever. Yeah, I mean, with he, everything he you know, did. Trino went up there with him when he, uh, or was it, was it Houston Nutt went up there? Houston, Houston, Houston Dale. Houston, my boy, Houston yeah. Nutt went up yeah. there. 
First time in a long time a coach has been at the New York for the Heisman. I know. I think he did. They never say it, but I think he almost, I think he might have been his second. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was awesome. I mean, oh yeah, he, him and uh, Felix all Jones. three of them, Felix Jones and uh, our big. Robert. Oh, who was one of Peyton Hillis? Peyton, Peyton, Peyton Hillis. Hillis. that went to Denver. Who was on the cover of Madden? He's on the way with Brown. Yeah. Kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <coughs> I got an interesting privy question for you. Who's ever listening? Uh, look up '92 All Madden kicker. John Daly. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you well, serious? Yeah. John Madden hated kickers, so he oh. put me as the All Madden. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my claim to fame in the NFL. Yeah. 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 The other name of fame, I'm at, I'm at the, uh, I'm at a uh, local place and. and eating and everything. I look over there and I'm talking about John and literally there's the machine right there, your machine. Oh, golden ticket. Yeah, oh, and I'm yeah. like, yeah. and I look over there and I'm like, and John's like, Rogers who went to your house the other day, he's like, Ed, you know John's machine's right there and you're talking about the same thing that the machine's talking about. I'm just, <laughs> weirdest story, man. It was just kind of, I mean, that's when you know you've done some great things in life, you know, and you're a legend like John. So, dude, that game is, Epic. I mean, do you know how many people yeah. have locked into that game, especially around 19, 20 years old when you're in college? Oh, yeah. Gets we had one in our happy hour. House. Yeah, exactly. How many have been in fraternity <laughs> houses around the country? <laughs> Bars, restaurants, all yeah. that. You know, it's, no, uh, the guy that, that I didn't deal with, it was pretty cool. You know, it was kind of an honor in a way because we knew the game was good, but uh, you know, they added that new technology and everything to it. My loudmouth stuff, so I'm there loudmouth happy. So, nah, it's, it's a lot of fun doing that. I love your bag. Your yeah. loudmouth bag? Yeah. It's so cool. Yeah. When they dropped that off your bus today, I was like, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, I have the Folds of Modern one, but it kind of got donated to Johnny, Johnny Damon's thing. He wanted it really bad to auction off for his charity, so I don't get another one made. Johnny Damon, baby. He's yeah. one of our friends. Talking about a baller. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah, in fact, the, the two, my two daughters that are here, we got to throw out the first pitch when Yankee Stadium, the new Yankee Stadium, was open, and Johnny Damon hosted us. I mean, we've had, and the girls were little, and have no clue, and he signs these jerseys. We have them framed, and because um, he, you know, he was a, he was, he, he won World Series in, in Boston and yeah. with the Yankees. He's you know, stuck. and was yeah. really good with the A's too. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. that guy could go. Yeah. And we know some really cool people. John knows a lot more people. I don't know, Major. You're the man. <laughs> and talking about Steve, he is a good. He attends a lot of our events with the Folds of Honor and Tulsa, and um, it's like they're like. I hate to say it this way, but they're like gypsies. It's him, McMahon, Tricky, oh, yeah. Azar. They all like go from event to event all over the oh, country, yeah. like John does. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, Vince. I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean not Vince McMahon. Jimmy. 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 McMahon. Jimmy. I was at that Super Bowl in New Orleans in 86 or 7 when they yeah. won it. And um, to be able to interview him at Azar's charity event years later, I guess I got to interview him a couple years later, was just so cool. Uh, I know you all know this, J.D. He, he plays golf. He doesn't wear shoes. Oh, no. no. <laughs> He's like J.D. That's where I'm at mouth, though. That's yeah. good for me. Yeah, yeah. He, does. <laughs> yeah. he does. And tr little trivia for all your listeners out there. You know he won two Super Bowls. Was he a backup somewhere? Yes. Yeah, for the, uh, I believe it was the Packers. The Packers. Behind yes. Behind Brett. Yes. Brett. Yeah. What? Yeah. I didn't know that. Everything <laughs> leads back to Mississippi. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Music. Hey, it's sports. a great story, though, because, I mean, I, he's, he has some great stories to tell anyways, but when you meet him, I mean, I was even surprised, you know, because I'm like the Super Bowl shuffle and yeah. Walter, I mean, that was my answer. Walter was from Jackson. And yeah. Jackson. Well, from Columbia, Mississippi, but which Jackson? Yeah, he was a backup with the Packers, and I remember he said one time, and, you know, Brett Favre got hit hard or whatever, and, you know, he's just hanging out in the, out there on the sidelines. They're like, hey, it's, it's time to come in. And yeah, he, you might want to go in, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> and Jimmy's like, I'm not ready to go in. <laughs> he, he was kind of mad at Favre about it, by, by the way. Because <laughs> didn't Favre, where did Favre, he went to school. Southern Miss. Yes, Southern Miss, yeah. yeah. And, of course, Peyton went to to Jackson State. Yeah. Jerry Rice went to Valley. Dak went to Mississippi State, which is 10 yeah. minutes from here. It was interesting. We drove down to just uh, this week to 
uh, Gulf Shores, and we went, man, that Ole Miss um, campus is beautiful. Yeah, Oxford's great. Oh, man. Pretty place. My daughter was like, man, that, that, that campus. And I have, she's at the University of Oklahoma, but to see school like that and, and campuses like that, and this campus is beautiful, too. Oh, it's starless. All the STCs are just they're phenomenal. Aren't they? Stuff. Well, that leads us to, to Dak, and then we'll let JD play some golf. So we're, we're visiting with John Daly and Major Ed here at Mossy Oak Golf Club. Rip it, rip it, sip it. Two Brothers Smoke Meats Charity Tournament for Folds of Honor. All right, so we're both huge Dak Prescott fans. We went to Mississippi State. You know, Dak's the best player to ever play there. Took the program to number one, blah, blah, blah. And now he's starting QB for the Cowboys, and you're a Cowboys fan. So what, what do you think about my man Dak Prescott? I love him. I mean, I love him. I love every, you know, your cowboy. It's like a Razorback. You're, you're in our hearts forever. And uh, I know it's what's you know, kind of weird what's going on about him getting, getting paid and all that. But uh, you know, Dallas for a long time has had a great offensive line. Now we got Zeke and uh, Witten. I guess did Witten just go to the Raiders? He did. Yeah. He did. So Gruden got him. But uh, you know, we, we, we can fill those shoes. Get another tight end. We got great receivers. I know we got to go on some free agency on some defense. We lost some good defensive guys, but. McCarthy's not as old school as everybody thinks he is. I agree. And, uh, I think it's a good hire. Uh, I think he'll he'll get that defense back. You know, get get our get, our, get some of our players back. Lee can stay. Man, if he could ever stay healthy, oh uh, man, that guy's a you know. And, and we got a we got a great bunch of guys in there. But and Bender that young dude. Young dude uh, if, if he comes back from the neck deal, that yeah, guy is unbelievable. Linebackers are solid if they're healthy, but uh, no matter what happens, I'm always a Cowboy fan. I always will be. I love him, and uh, I just want him to. Play good and win. That's that's all we ever need for the Cowboys, just like the Razorbacks. Well, Dallas got him a good one. Dak Prescott is a tremendous young man. Got all the intangibles. Super leader. Blake, you got something? I, I gotta ask since we went to Arkansas too. Sure. Thoughts on Sam Pittman? Oh, the new head coach. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's right in the middle, man. He's he's you know an offensive line coach is what we needed. I mean, we went from the extreme with Beeline with big control the ball, which wasn't a bad idea. And in the SEC, unfortunately, you got to be faster, and quicker. So mm -hmm. we get, <laughs> we go back to from the biggest offensive line to one of the smallest to get faster and get speed. And, and now we're right in the middle. And you know, he went out and got Felipe Franks, who's 100 percent healthy. Yes, sir. From Florida. Yes, Good sir. pickup. Uh, great pickup. One more year. Yeah. But Felipe can win games, and we got uh, Kendall Browse is an unbelievable. We're gonna have we got the best team. running back coming back for one more year too. So I mean, I think we'll be good if we could just. It's all about defense. Yeah. I think our offense will be okay. We just got to get some defense. And a good uh, Barry Odom. Yeah, yeah Barry Odom, Odom. Yeah. Missouri yeah. ex head coach. He's good. Yeah. He's good DC. Yeah. Kendall yeah. Browns and those things. All right, JD. Um, appreciate it, Major Ed. You guys, thanks for coming to Mossio Golf Club and West Point and Starkville and um, raising some awesome money for Folds of Honor, which is uh, well, what people don't know about Folds of Honor. What we do is Major Ed is. Uh, you know, probably one of my greatest friends, but he's a hero in my life because he served our country. And we always say freedom ain't free and uh, Purple Heart recipient. But what we do is we give money to the fallen, the wounded, and uh, scholarships for the kids. It's 5,000 scholarship. And from what I understand, we, we helped raise over, what, $22 million last year? Yeah. And he's been a great wingman. And, and the Terry here and everybody that's put this event together and – I mean, I had a good time at that two brothers. Shoot, <laughs> <laughs> I had a little too much to drink. My yeah. wife, and it's funny because our girls are like, they're so funny because they say to me, they're like, hey, Dad, um, we haven't really seen Mom drink like that in a while. And she she had too much to drink. I'm like, I think we both had, but that's okay. We're adults. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, one nineteen and 14, and uh, John's right. They're both scholarship recipients. And I got one at the University of Oklahoma, and my little one, um, is a cheer champion, and we've got her at. Uh, we're going to put her in a Christian school this year to kind of make sure that you know what she stays focused on what's important. And, and, and to little JD, you know, man, for him to get ready to go to school, that's a very important deal, and that's what makes us as parents proud. Yeah, and I think Memphis was our first university that gave up uh, the yeah. whole ride. The whole yeah, Memphis. That's right. right. The full really? Summer, yeah. Yeah. I'd like to get some SEC schools involved. So I know your presence out there, chances, you know, hey, give 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 it up for some some folds of honor recipients, please. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's worth it'd be worth it.
What a great organization. It is a great organization. And a great cause and a great wingman, John Davis. Coltsofhonor.org. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to let you guys go out and have a big time. John gets to play with uh, your son today, which is awesome. Everybody here is excited about that. Can't wait to see where he decides to go to school, Arkansas, Florida State, West Virginia, North Carolina. Can't make him. You never know. Yeah. You never know. He's got a lot of offense. But I think he'll be calling the Hogs play. Yeah. We'll see what plays out. <laughs> we'll see what plays out. <laughs> and, and Come on, Brad. Give him yeah. a full ride. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I'll leave you with something, too, because it's funny. I just had somebody recently say, you shouldn't call yourself a one-legged guy. I'm like, well, that's what I am. I'm missing one leg. But I'm going to caddy a little bit out here today. Yeah, caddy for LJ. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah, so it'll be fun, you know. The one-legged man coming in hot. Uh, coming in hot. <laughs> All right, J.D., John Daly, Major Ed, Purple Heart recipient on the Out of Bounds podcast. Appreciate it, guys. All right, you guys have fun. You guys, yeah. thanks. Awesome. Thank you, John. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, 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 my fault. I apologize. All right, bud. J.D., you ready to give a little speech out here? I'm ready. Hey, you don't want to make a shot? Are you going to do it in here? Sure. Either way. I'm going to be bombarded by people. Probably. Yeah, you yeah. will. Let's do it. Let's do it with y'all's backs facing this way. So I can have some of the light coming up. Got it. Yeah. You're not hopping it? It's not that important. Let's share my mean. Look for another thing. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, All right, on three. One, two, three. Just like that. Awesome. Oh, oh, yeah. You just press stay. Yeah, man. It's supposed to be a John Daly day at Bush Stadium. Was it really? And they were giving out 30,000 of these, and I was going to throw the first pitch out. Yeah, because we were so supposed to be here. Oh, no, we got canceled. Yeah, we, we, were, we, were, we were playing the red. I don't have them on I just said they were going to give 30,000. Get your email you know, so, so I can grab, uh, uh, grab your pictures. Info. And John has like the, the, don't you have the Cardinals pants? Which oh, yeah, you work for that PGA Championship. Yeah, I'm sorry. My name is Hunter Hart. I'm here with, uh, who are you with? Third party from Two Brothers. I'm just proud of it. Oh, man, uh, Dan Wilde, man. He's a member. He's a member. He's a member. He's so excited. Oh, he's, he's, he's just a member. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have a tonight. Tonight's going to be a good time. This is going to be a good time. I had, like, last night, I was in when I was locked out, when I was like, Jeffrey Simmons and all the all the NFL players. That's the same. They did? They're doing a football. I usually actually. Oh, they are. So they're going to try to go tonight. Oh, this is good. But it's not good. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.